Hello, welcome back to Mr. Chichi Life Noring. In this episode, I'll be sharing with you how I created this kind of a basin or bowl. Uh, it could be also like a like a glass. It's actually really simple, uh, but I want to share it with you. Um, you can make something similar using just line and revolve modifier, but this is uh, slightly different. Where I'm simply using a circle that has been filled with triangle and this one is transformed to the bottom of the object and then it's merged with the cone because the cone uh, the cone shape doesn't have the the base part ideally we can simply have this kind of uh, design simply by using a cylinder and maybe like taper taper it slightly if i separate the bottom and the top it looks like this but if I just place it on the ground properly it's gonna merge why is this possible because of the weld so this is happening inside geometry nodes of course I simply join the geometry I didn't unite or using I didn't use any boolean um, so yeah it's uh, really simple however this has a lot of control even just like like this um, we can control the the bottom part of the ball so we have like a glass kind of nice glass we can control the vertices we can have different thickness and the depth so you can end up with 100 variations of just a very basic setup oh okay yeah we need weld otherwise without the weld it's just like a two different object if we weld it together it's gonna become a single object so we probably at some point in the weld is gonna be a node solidify is gonna be a node I mean also using bevel and subdivisions of course we need a bit of bevel I think in this case just to keep it nice Reduce the thickness and turn it back into circular design. <clears throat> if the number is certain number, will give you you know more squarish hexagon. Weld okay, thickness offset. Oh, the material is a is is an EV material, so it's real time. Basically, the the secret is here in in the transmissions. Without transmission, it's just gonna be like maybe metallic. And I'm also smoothing the object over here, and you can scale, etc. I'm using the new layout geometry nodes provided here. Where is that? Geometry nodes. So you might normally work like this. Normally I split the top part and switch this to, to geometry nodes. If you want if you want to do more with this basic setup, you can try using animation nodes and try to instance this object. Use the copy full objects and deep copy and you can use maybe line mesh or geometry i forgot okay distribute distribute linear is going to generate lines so now we have uh, five objects by default Okay, this is probably slightly wrong. Object transform output, so this number of objects, this is the location. Okay, something like this. 
each one of them have a you can randomize slightly so this is the, the basic idea okay that that seems to fail but it's not because okay that's the original and with this instance we can w look through every object get this value for example copy full data path and use the expression over here so for every object coming in I'm just gonna call it obey so for every object modifier we're gonna do randomize uh, let's call this radius This is the index seed. This is something that geometry nodes doesn't have it yet. Index number. Okay. Cool. So now instead of using linear, we can just read. Maybe not too much, okay. Eight by eight, sixty-four. And it's a bit slow because animation notes is always calculated try to calculate everything on every frame, on every update so let's save this very quickly we can have now a different color maybe randomize the height so the same setup object coming in the depth, just right click copy full data path Paste it here. Change the object. Okay. Index coming in. This is the height. Copy. Paste. Plugin. Something that you might find at IKEA or some other places. You can also randomize the vertices, the radius, top. But you get the drill. It's a it's very simple uh, setup. Like I said, it's only have the top and bottom radius. Uh, you can't control the shape but still because it is like so limited you can you can be more creative with the variations like i said uh, a more elaborate setup is if you have line 
maybe the base and then you just simply revolve using modifier and then you, you turn that into uh, geometry nodes now you can have like uh, lots of variations all right so that's pretty much it hopefully you find this interesting and useful thanks again for uh, checking it out and i'll see you next time thank you bye